Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome to the classroom and this is uh, mathematics. So you will be needing the mathematics textbook and mathematics workbook. Okay, the yellow book. Mathematics textbook and then the workbook. Okay, so I have here 27 students in the classroom uh, we have 28 in numbers so the 28 the number 28 is me so we have 27 students I will call all here I have here Ploidja, Yanin, Ampan, Prompt, Ali, August, Baibon, Chita, Fadel, First, Friend, Hugh, Kitka, uh, Kenji, Martin, Munich, Nava, Nichada, Ning, Nan, Kongkwan23, Kongkwan23, Soda, Peace, Pufa, Sabay15, Satang, and Sabay21. Anyone who has not called? Martin, Kitkat. First. I called first already, right? Chita. Okay. So, everyone is here. Now, welcome to the classroom. So, uh, before we go to the topic for today, I would like to ask first for a short and quick review of what we have last week. Okay? Can you remember what we studied last week in mathematics? Anyone who can tell me what we studied about? Okay, so last week, we have studied about measurement. Okay, remember, we tried to measure objects or we tried to measure things that we have in our classroom. Or things that we have near us so for example you tried to measure the book uh, the pencil the eraser the uh, crayon or the notebook that you have with you so you tried to measure it in centimeters and in inches and we have learned also if it is more than or less than so we have those words more than and less than and also we have learned how to measure in centimeters and in meters now also here in in your book you have there the conversion from meter to centimeter so one meter is equivalent to 100 centimeters Okay, now we try first to review, give example, example of any object that you can measure. Give an example. So for ex uh, let's say you have a notebook there, you try to measure. Or if you have a pencil, okay, show the measurement. So for example, I have here a short notebook. For example, I have here, this is my notebook, it's a, just a, for, um, for my notes. Alright, so, when I try, I will try to measure, okay, like this, okay, measure, how much is the measurement? Okay, how much is the measurement? Let me see. Okay, it is 10 centimeters. Okay, 10 centimeters. Now, can you please show me an example? Any, just a quick review na, just a quick review. 
Okay. Anyone who can show me an example? Okay, just show your hands if you would like to show something. Then measure, okay? We'll see. Okay, Ploicha, we wait. Okay, Ploicha, what do you have? What is it? Is eraser. Okay. Is the eraser is six centimeter. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. Now anybody else who would like to show something thank you ploija anyone else okay we have here peace okay peace okay pencil and pencil is 13.5 centimeters okay 13.5 centimeters thank you so much very good all right now let's have i have munich okay munich what are you going to measure the pencil is 40 centimeters how much how many 40 Four, 14 14 you say 14 not 40 14 okay 14 okay it is 14 centimeters next we have pufa what do you have pufa the color pencil is 14 centimeters okay 14 centimeters Okay, thank you, Pufa. Next, I have here Pantip. Okay, what do you have, Pantip? Book is a centimeter. The book is the eight. Book in, is eight centimeters. Eight centimeters. Are you sure? Oh, wait a moment. Up. Eight centimeters. It might be small. Eight centimeters. Eight centimeters or eight inches? What are you using? Eight centimeters. Wait a moment. Huh? Okay. Uh, Pantip, what are you using? Uh, you have here, this is the ruler. If you are using this one, this is inches. This is inches. Pantip, look at me first. This one is inches. The lower part, the smaller numbers, is centimeters. Which one are you using? Which one? The bigger numbers. You say the note notebook. When you say 8 centimeters... If it is 8 centimeters, your notebook is only here. 8 centimeters, uh, pantip. This is 8 centimeters, pantip. This one. Okay. So, what is it? Is it 8 centimeters, 8 centimeters, or 8 inches? So, when you say 8 inches, your notebook is like this. The Which book is, the book is 24 centimeters. Okay. So, you use the smaller one. Okay, thank you. Okay. Alright, who else? Okay, we have Titan. Titan, what are you going to show? The pencil is 10 centimeters. 10 centimeters okay thank you so much and i have here kong kwan oh, wait a moment kong kwan 
Okay, Kong Kwan, what do you have? How many? Thirteen. Thirteen centimeters. Okay. Uh, next, I have here Hugh. Okay, Hugh, what do you have? You raised your hand. What do you have? Oh, sharpener. Okay. Ah, your microphone is off. Your microphone is off. The sharpener is 8 centimeter. 8 centimeters. Okay, thank you so much. Next, I have from. Thank you, thank you. From. Okay, what do you have? The. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Prom. Okay, next we have, I have Cheetah. Cheetah is next. What do you have? The sticker is... 13 centimeters. Centimeters. 13 centimeters. Very good. Okay, next I have here Anpan. Okay, Anpan. What do you have? The iPhone. The mobile phone. The iPhone, the telephone is 14, 14 centimeters. 14. Uh, oh, what is that? Okay, say the phone. Okay, the mobile phone is. Say that for me. The mobile phone is. 14 centimeters. Again, one more time. The mobile phone is the mobile the mobile phone. The mobile phone is is forty centimeters. Centimeters. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Anpan. Okay, who's having the sound again? Who's having the sound, please? Eli. Okay, so please turn off if there are any, if, the, listen, if there are any phones nearby you, please turn off the sound. Mute it. Uh, Teacher Fei, I have a, a micro I have a microphone. I have a mobile phone near me, but it is off. You have to turn off the, the sound so that it will not affect the the other phone that you have because it is affecting the sound of the microphone or whatever you have. You you are using the laptop or the desktop or the the phone. Just turn off it. Turn it off. All right. So for that was all about the the length. Now, could you please check your book, workbook? Oh no, no, no. This one, the the big one. Textbook. Could you please check your textbook? You have here on page eighty-eight. Page 88 of your textbook. Okay. So, we have also here 
we also have here the comparison okay the comparison of more than three objects so we will be using we have done this already any lian leo you have already done this the use of the word longest tallest and shortest so you are comparing here three objects okay so now we compare sample this is just a short review review na review now try to provide three objects wherein you can use the words longest and shortest try to show the longest and the shortest okay i will do first the example all right now i have here three objects okay three different objects i have a ruler pencil and my notebook this is my mini mini notebook all right so look at the length okay so i will say that the ruler is the longest the notebook is the shortest okay again listen to teacher fair i will say the ruler is the longest the notebook is the shortest i have three objects you cannot use longest and shortest if you are just comparing two objects there must be three three or more three or more objects that you are going to compare okay as i said again three or more objects that you are going to compare okay who will try so first here i have kong kwan kong kwan 23 okay i will call the students who are just raising their hands based on the participants list okay what have you got there okay what are those you have comb ruler and what is the other one comb ruler and rubber what is okay ow again 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 one more time okay try again kong kwan okay okay very good all right thank you so much next i have next in line is ploija very good very good kong kwan okay what do you have yes is the shortest is the shortest is the okay the pencil is long is the longest oh. okay tallest you're using tallest okay thank you so much next in line here we have peace okay peace the others please do raise your hand so that i can call you okay what have you got okay the ruler is longest is the longest the ruler is the longest the eraser is shorter okay thank you so much very good okay all right now kids when you use the short shortest and longest you also use the you say the shortest the longest okay okay so what can you say 
Okay, so you have their uh, phone, you have their mobile phone, ruler, and eraser. You have the rubber, right? Okay, so which one is the longest? Which one is the longest? Ruler. Okay, so you say, the ruler is the longest. What, what are you going to use? Long, longest or tallest? Which one are you saying? Okay. Okay, see. Ready? The ruler is the longest. Okay. Okay. And which one is the shortest? Mm -hmm. The rubber is the shortest. The rubber is the shortest. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, I have here Munich. Munich, thank you so much. Okay, Munich, what have you got? The eraser is the shortest. Okay. The foam is the tallest. Okay, very good. Next, I have here from. From, what have you got? Okay, very good. Thank you. And I have here Pufa. Okay, Pufa, what have you got? How, what are what are the objects that you have you have got you have their ruler what else ruler uh, sharpener and what else there should be three there should be three pufa okay what can you say Is the, the longest. longest okay and is the the eraser is the sharpener. oh sharpener is shot okay the sharpener is the shortest okay thank you ruler what do you have ruler ruler cutter and pencil okay so which one is the longest okay titan is long at the pencil okay you say you are going to compare them above all so you're going to say the ruler is the longest okay the customer is longest the ruler is the longest the ruler is the longest okay now what is the shortest the pencil is shortest is the shortest is the shortest okay thank you so much thank you okay can you hear me yeah. ah, okay all right so is ali already ready now not yet okay now please turn your books to page 89 
page 89 on your textbook. Textbook, page 89. You have there a practice exercise, page 89. You have there practice exercise. You, have, you are going to fill in the blanks. You are going to fill in the blanks. You have there four pictures. Okay. Are you seeing the picture on page 89 of your book? You have there four images. You have the comb, crayon, pencil, and of course the ruler. What book? Mathematics textbook. Mathematics textbook. Now, you have there four pictures. You have comb, crayon, pencil, and ruler. The ruler there is used for measuring the three objects. So, you will be comparing the three objects. Again, please. Mr. Watson. Mathematics textbook. Page 89. Mathematics textbook, page 89. Everybody there? Okay. Practice exercise. All right. Now, look at the measurement. Number one. Number one. If you would like to answer, raise your hand. Nah, if you would like to answer, raise your hand. Now, number one, the comb is blank centimeters long. Who would like to answer? The comb is blank centimeters long. How long is the comb? Who would like to answer? Raise your hand. Okay, I have here Kongkwan. Okay, Kongkwan. The comb is 10 centimeters, centimeters long. long. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Next, number two. The crayon is blank centimeters long. Okay, I have here heel. The crayon is blank centimeters long. Okay, what's the answer? Seven. Oh, you read first the sentence. The crayon is... The crayon is home long. Okay, the crayon is seven centimeters long. Say that here. The, whole, the, crayon the crayon is seven, seven centimeters centimeter long. Okay, very good. Thank you. All right. So for number three, I have here uh, Munich. Okay, Munich. Okay, number three is. The pencil is blank centimeters long. Look at the image. The pencil is 12 oh, Okay. The pencil is 12 centimeters long. Thank you so much. Next number four I have here. Next in line is Ploidja. Okay. Could you please read first number four and then give the answer. The comb is longer oh. than the crayon. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Next in line, I have here piece. Okay, piece number five. The ruler is the... It's um, okay. okay, the ruler here is used for measurement. Do not include the ruler uh, piece. The pencil mm -hmm. is the longest. 
Okay, very good. The pencil is the longest. Okay, last one I have here by Bon. Thank you. Okay, by Bon, number six. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. The crayon is the shortest. Okay, did you get the answer, everyone? Okay, now, if you are done, pay, please turn to page 90. We are going to take this up just for number one. If you are finished, if you are finished on page 89 of your textbook, finish. If you are finished, listen, turn to page 89 of your textbook. Page 89. Okay. So, on page 89 of your textbook, you have there solving word problems involving length. 89. Oh, 89. Page 90. Sorry. Page 90 of your book is solving word problems involving length. Page 90. Solving word problems involving length. So we are just going to try number one. So here we are going to read the problem. We have here a word problem. Number one is teacher has a ribbon that is five meters long. She cuts out a piece that is two meters long. What is the length of the ribbon left? Okay. So, here, you are going to find out from the word, from the word problem, what are the numbers given. So, as you can see in the problem, you have there 5 meters long and 2 meters long. The problem was, what is the length of the ribbon left? So, you have the clue there, left. So, that means you are going to take away something from the number that was given first. So, the first number that was given was 5. So, 5 meters long. The teacher cut, cut out two pieces. So, you are going to take two from five. So, how much is left? How much is left? So, you have there the answer. The length of the ribbon left is three meters. Okay, the length of the ribbon left is 3 meters. This is just an example. You just look at it first. Number 2, that is a sample of addition. Addition problem. Number 2, I will read the, the problem. Crete has a rope that is 12 centimeters long. His brother has a rope that is seven centimeters long what is the total length of rope they have now what are the numbers given in the problem number two problem number two what are the numbers given in the problem you have there 12 centimeters long, right? First number is 12 centimeters long. Second number is 
7 centimeters long. Now, problem is, what is the total, total length of rope they have? So, when you say, what is the total length? That means you are going to combine. You have to put them together. So, you are going to use here addition. The first one that we have, the problem that we have, the first one is subtraction. Okay? So, here you're going to add 12 plus 7 equals 19 centimeters. Okay? So, the first problem that we have was subtraction. Problem number one was Teacher has a ribbon that is 5 meters long. She cuts out a piece that is 2 meters long. What is the length of the ribbon left? You have 5 meters long and then 2 meters long. Those were the numbers that were given. The clue from the word problem is what is the length of the ribbon left? You have the word left. What was left? So that means you are going to take away something from the bigger number. So you use subtraction in the problem. The second problem, you have their numbers 12 and 7. The clue there, what is the total length? What is the total length? That means you are going to combine the two numbers. You are going to put them together. That is why you have addition. Okay? So, in solving word problems, you will have to find out from the problem itself. So, what is being asked in the problem? You have to find out there so that you will know what you are going to use. If you are going to use addition or if you are going to use subtraction. Okay? So, uh, you are going to try. Let's try first. Practice number one on page 90. Practice number one on page 90. Who would like to try? Okay. Okay. Everybody na, I will read. Practice. Practice number one. Listen. Mother has 15 meters of fabric. She cuts 8 meters of the fabric and gives it to aunt. How much fabric does mother have now? Alright. What are the numbers given here? What are the numbers given? Who would like to answer? Number one, are you following me? I am talking a practice exercise on page 90, number one. Are you following Seven. me? Okay. Seven. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what are the numbers given? Okay, Ploidja. Okay, what are the numbers given here? Fifteen. Okay, fifteen and? Eight. Okay, fifteen and eight. Now, in the problem... It is asked there that, how much fabric does mother have now? Okay, so you are going to take away. So how much, how much fabric does mother have now? What are you going to do? What is the answer? Mother has, okay, so you read the answer there. Mother has seven Seven, uh, mit seven meters. Seven meters. Of now. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. 
Okay. So, we have um, practice exercise number two. Practice exercise number two. Sony has nine centimeters of ribbon. Molly also has nine centimeters of ribbon. What is the total length of ribbon they have? Okay, who would like to answer? I have Ali. Okay, let's try with Ali. Okay, Ali. Okay. So, number two na. Number two, Ali. Sony has nine centimeters of ribbon. Now, what are the given numbers there? What are the numbers in number two? Your microphone is off, Oli. Can you try to turn it on? Okay. Oh. Oh. Again? 18. 18. All right. So, the numbers that were given here, you have... 9 centimeters of ribbon and 9 and Sony has 9 centimeters and Molly has 9 centimeters. The question is what is the total length? So you have to combine. So the total length of ribbon they have is 18 centimeters. Okay, thank you so much. So that was just a practice practice exercise. Okay. Now Okay, so try first on page 62 of your workbook. Page 62 of your workbook. Okay, you have their solving problem. Okay, you have their solving problem. Try to answer it. You only had to try to answer try first one and two only one and two try one and two do not answer all okay okay again mathematics workbook mathematics workbook page 62 answer one and two only one and two page 62 one and two okay any question any question you are late already for the next class okay so if you have any question you just send me a message in line page 62 workbook only numbers one and two number one and two only okay so, I guess that would be all for now. See you again later in the afternoon. Have a good day, kids. Okay, bye-bye. See you in the afternoon. Thank you. Bye-bye.